Um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but our country seems quite keen to sell guns to people. Now, I work in a school, and if you meet kids that are quite keen to sell guns to people, people put lots of interventions in the way to teach them the error of their sordid ways. In this country, we pump public funds into making sure those dreams are achieved. And this poem is kind of about that. It's called I'm Not a Rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper, I'm a freedom fighter, searching for new worlds. I'm just trying to write the future by finding a few words. And my rhymes designed to define what I cannot foresee. And yeah, I know my task is futile, but see the past, it implores me. So wars I never saw, nor did I ever take part in, have me on my knees in my garden begging for pardon. I feel shame at my nation's place. In the global arms trade, because if you're able to pay, we got bombs by the caseload, guns by the crate. Just sign a few papers and we'll all be straight. Now, the shipping costs depend upon the destination, but fuck UPS, we get to every nation. We'll arm your guerrillas, your child militias, the conquerors, the conterers will grant your wishes. Buy one and get one free from inspection. Have a nice day and a happy insurrection or rebellion, or coup, it's for you to choose. Just be sure to pick the correct warheads to use. Instructions and company recommendations are included in accompanying documentation. You see, it's all color-coded to avoid frustration, so you won't waste any time evading a nation. On behalf of the company, we thank you for your patience and hope you call on us again when planning future occupations. But meanwhile, as the smoke clears, the tears reveal the dust-skinned kids clicking red stain hills. There's no place like home, there's no place like home. I swear it was there before the bang and the flash, but now there's no place like home, just a pile of ash. But if you follow the rhetoric road, you'll expose a pile of cash. Fast cars and fancy flats for vile bureaucrats who didn't see this and they haven't signed that and well hospitals and economies collapse the architects are clocking gears of war on their iPads in their fly pads. It's all hot girls for the hot head who shots hot lead into a hot bed of hatred where natives ain't got bread or water. Just mass graves and slaughter and memories of mercenaries raping their daughter. You see, tyranny moves swiftly and irresistibly when it's back to the hilt by illicit British military hardware with a thousand yards there through crosshairs. They're flinging bullets that are bigger. Bullets that are bigger. They're flinging bullets, flinging bullets, bullets, bu 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 bullets that are bigger than the fingers that are pulling the trigger. But them child's minds can't comprehend all the trends and figures. Plotted and charted against dark-hearted martyrs who fight but don't frighten. While the siblings and the victims of the corporate killings stagger like defense ministry fat cats on a night out at China Whites. High from the same white powder that the warlords implore their military miners to devour to fight prouder and stronger, fight harder and longer. Well, back in the London Members Club, the pinstripe pigs pop pills on prescription to make their member stronger. In the vain hope that they might make the gold digging escort ignore their groping sweaty paws and let them hold on longer. You see, money can buy you drugs and money can buy you guns. And money can buy you the protection of lying little cunts in wood panelled offices in Whitehall who hide the piles of shedded skin far from the killing fields that their leaders plant their seeds in. So the land might be yours, but all the landmines are ours. And in spring, the Sheffield still pings when the kids pick flowers. Crops of lost limbs are collected like poppies onto the back of stolen armoured trucks while the profiteers complain about the quality of coffee at the newly opened Starbucks. What the fuck is the point of a poem when reality's a joke? I don't know, but I'm going to keep writing the verses in case I find some way to reverse the circus and I'm sure you heard the speech before and I'm preaching to the converted. 
or to coerce conformists, walking in the norm of their conformity, unaware or too scared to cast your thoughts upon the enormity of our nation's choices, I'll make my points like a million voices silenced by violence. Wound tight like the high strings on violins Who pine behind fires And fuel relief through grief at funeral pyres The death knell's perpetual ding-dong Is the back seat, back beat to a city slicker sing-song To record sales of weapons that beckon unethical death and destruction Because when the gun is the prophet The victims will always be holy Precision engineering in a god fear in nature, the prey stalked falls at the puff of the chamber. While simultaneously providing high-level lifestyles for the reptilian sponsors. Now personally, I'd put them all in prison with the nonces. And redress the oppression by letting them fuck these children of fascist, Thatcher, right-wing capitalist ethics. Until they're as pathetic as their devious endeavours to increase their credit. Come let we dead it. Because when the gun is the prophet, the victims will always be holy. It's precision engineering and a God fearing nature. The prey stalk falls at the puff, at the puff, puff, puff of the chamber. So, what the fuck is the point of this poem when reality is a joke? I don't know, but I can't stop spitting the verses till I find some way to reverse the circus. And I know that you heard the speech before, I'm still preaching to the converted. But if I can change just a single mind, then my labours have still all been worth it. Thank you, word of mouth. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.